Grandma's Pod Blast. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Grandma's Pod Blast. I'm your host, Grandma. Let's jump right in. First up, the news. Summer's here. It's hot. Um, stay safe on the road, everybody. Oh, I'd like to welcome to the studio our first guest. It's the creator of the inane or uh, insipid Pod Blast, Composer Dad versus Bible. Grandma, what are you working on? I'm recording my Pod Blast, Grandma's Pod Blast. I don't think you're actually recording. I'm not? Yeah, let me set this up you, for you. Why don't you take it from oh. here? Thank you. Um, I'm going to go work on my crosswords. Oh. Uh, bye. It's raining outside, and Builder Boy, Squishy Baby, and I are at home, busying ourselves with activities while Professor Mom finishes grading term papers at the local gluten-free coffee shop. It's 4.15 in the afternoon. I turn on the regional public radio station to alert us to any potential changes in the weather. But the rain continues. No problem. I have a series of planned activities to keep up morale. First, snacks. Snacks. Then books, books. Uh, crafts, crafts, crayons, Water. markers, markers. Play doh, instruments, instruments, toys I have been saving for their birthday. Toys. Snacks again. Snacks. I check the clock. It's 15 minutes later. 4:30. I feel trapped inside. I try to keep a positive attitude. But I'm not sure what to do next. The time between afternoon nap and dinner is stressful. Suddenly, I feel a mighty wind against the house. Is the storm picking up, or is it Bible? With another intense compositional challenge for me, compose your dad. Hello, Bible. We meet again. I say, standing tall. Hello, composer dad. I see you and your little ones are all gathered inside this house. Yes. It is raining a lot, so we are playing inside. This reminds me, after Jesus ascended into heaven, his followers huddled together in a house on a day called Pentecost. Suddenly there was a mighty wind, tongues of fire rested on their heads, and they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Peter shared the good news with everyone with support from his entourage. I want you to create a song based on this event in the style of 90s hip-hop. Goodbye. I knew Bible wasn't far away with all that intense weather. No problem, Bible, I say, but Bible is already gone. I turn off the radio and turn on some 90s hip-hop via our Wi-Fi-enabled speakers. It takes a moment to connect. We wait. While we listen, we use washable paint to illustrate the Pentecost account. Builder Boy's painting looks incredible. He places it extremely high up on the wall. <laughs> How did he get it up there so high? What's happening? Before I can figure it out, there's another rush of wind. It's Professor Mom, returning home from grading papers at the local gluten-free coffee shop. Professor Mom. How is the coffee shop? At the end of the semester, I find it helpful to take a moment to update my syllabus for the next year while it is fresh in my mind. Professor Mom. Suddenly, there's yet another rush of wind, and our sliding door is open. The rain stopped. It's a beautiful day outside, and Professor Mom suggests we take a family walk before dinner. Let's take a family walk before dinner. As we walk, I'm not distracted by my work, but focus on reconnecting emotionally with my family. See you next time on Composer Dad vs. Bible. It's a holy ghost. It's a holy ghost. It's a holy ghost. Holy ghost. Gather round all who live in Jerusalem. Listen up carefully. You gotta get used to them. These people are drunk. It's only nine in the morning. Nine in the morning. It's a holy ghost. It's a holy ghost. It's the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost Allow me to present some historical context To counteract all your rhetorical nonsense In the last days I will pour out my spirit On the young and the old and all who I near it That's called a prophecy prognostication Written in a book for a new generation We're living it, been giving it Coming down from the heavenly host It's the Holy Ghost, it's the Holy Ghost It's the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost the Holy Ghost it's the Holy Ghost, it's the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost! I will not be 
shaken. He will not be shaken. I won't see decay. He won't see decay. I will not reside in the realm of the dead. I'm on the path of life. He's on the path of life. I'm invincible. He's invincible. Sitting on the throne of the heavenly king. We know these words. It's our old King David. But I tell you confidentially without any uncertainty that he is dead. Long gone. So who's he talking about? Who's he talking about? Remember the man with the wonders and signs who healed the sick and gave sight to the blind. Maligned by you and I for no crime. Here's the thing. We killed the king. What do we do? I'm right there with you. I know what you're feeling. Your heart is a reeling, so I'm dealing a healing. You're forgiven, so let's start living. You gotta let it ride. He's alive, he's alive. Open up the window, feel the wind inside. It's the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. He's alive. It's the Holy Ghost. Feel the wind inside. It's the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. It's the Holy Ghost. It's a great victory. It's the Holy Ghost. Hey, what's the 13 letter word beginning with A for co opting elements of another culture as your own? Hello? Nothing? Ah.